Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom Python app in Splunk. You just create your first custom app using Python. You can write anything you want. You can just change the code and you can use whatever you want. In your Python app, I'm just going to make something very simple for you to see and how to do it. So without any further ado, I just don't want to make a long video. So let's just dive deep into the video okay so i'm in my splunk i'm just gonna create a simple python app to show you how to use a python script to create an app in splunk so it's just a app to just add columns in the records so don't worry about the app it's just you need to know how to do this so I'll just click on settings then click create app then we'll name the app just Python app. We'll just name this Python app. Very important. Then give the same name for the folder Python app. Then version just gives you 1.0.0. Double TS. Then author is give the author. Then save it. When you click visible, the important thing you need to know is that it, the visible will show the app here. If you turn it off, you won't be able to see the app here. Now you know what to do. Just go to the back end of our system and go to cd slash opt slash splunk slash etp slash apps and see our app. Uh, Python app, this is our app, so we'll go cd. Python app and you see into the bin. This is very important. Then you just install all the stuff that you want to do. That's this. The clip doesn't work. Well, it does. Okay. But anyway, we'll install the uh, clip Python tree. Python doesn't work. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I have it. So if not, all you have to do is apt install simulation to space dot Is it your install Python 3 hyphen pip? So in our case, it's already there. So if not, do this. Then next, this will just install a package Python, which is a Splunk SDK. Just pip 3 install hyphen t dot. Long SDK. Now we have it in the same bin as our file, which is we'll just name this as Python dot app bin and then copy this code this is as i told you just uh just to add some columns so i don't worry this will be available in my git you don't have to worry about this just paste it x just want to make sure that you change this code this must be your app name and this is as you want as you want you can give anything on but i gave this as my author's name and that's it then here as, here as well your App name and then save y enter that's it then you just create another command style in the local so you just go back to the dot slash cd tap default ls then you just create a I don't know commands dot conf 
then paste this into C. Then you specify here your, your file name. Into X, Y, and here. That's it. Then you need to cd slash opd slash splunk slash bin. Go to the bin. Now slash splunk. Restart. Let's give it a restart. You see how it's still working on. Now I will let the password then go to the search and reporting to see our stuff which is slash python app and common python okay so what we do we go back to our oh no sorry go back to our manage apps Search your Python app, search it, and click permissions. Okay, so I just click all apps, save them. Here are the settings. Now write Python app. Yeah, perfection. Now we'll just add an index to see. So then we'll just go to the audit one. Python app. Yeah, and that's all. The data is perfectly coming, and then you can see hello, Ryan. Hello, such Hello, Ryan. These are the these are the events. As you can see, hello, Ryan is the same stuff that we checked here. Record, you know the record that we added. So it's just nothing but hello, Ryan is the stuff that you want to see. So we have this record, so just one. I think this is how we use like if you when you do this, I had a error when I try was working on it. If you have a problem that this is not working, it, the better thing you can do is you can go to the Python code and run it. If it says some package is missing, you need to move you need to move the same package that we're using in my case Splunk SDK to the same folder that you're running the Python file. So if you do that, it will work perfectly. So I think yeah, this is how you create a custom app with Python SDK in Splunk. See you in another one, guys. Until then, be safe. Bye bye, everyone.